Before the internet boom of the 90s, getting technical help when you needed it or communicating with loved ones miles away meant picking up the telephone. With the internet came the advent of chat rooms. Suddenly, anyone could pick up a conversation with virtually anyone else, talk about anything, share ideas, get help, or just find out what the strangers in the chat room might be up to. As the 90s transitioned into the new millennium, chat rooms gave way to instant messaging and social media. Shortly thereafter, businesses learned that chats and instant communications translated to happier customers and greater sales. Today, chat is a primary service channel for many large call centers, and many tech-savvy companies feature live chat splashes on their website homepage. All of this has led consumers to expect and even rely on the availability of instant 24-7 helplines and to anticipate that someone, somewhere, will see their IM chats, messages, and social media posts and read, respond, and download as intended. The unanticipated result, though, is that administrators of large, popular chat apps often struggle to protect their users from so-called trolls who post inappropriate comments or explicit images. The AWS Image Moderation Chatbox serverless architecture can greatly ease administrators' monitoring burden through automatically reviewing all new posts and deleting unacceptable content, which can be a great way to control administrative overhead while keeping the chat board free from harmful content. But before assigning a new project to your DevOps team, it's important to make sure they get the security right the first time and keep the project secure each time it cycles through the CICD pipeline throughout its lifecycle. The best and most effective way to secure your AWS deployment is with ThreatModeler, your AWS technology partner for threat modeling. For a fully automated, robust chat board moderation application, a separate chat box can be created for image processing, media processing, and text processing, and so forth. In this video, however, we will show users how to create a threat model for an image moderation chat box based on the AWS serverless reference architecture. Creating threat models for the other monitoring chat bots can then be created in a similar manner. Out of the box, Threat Modeler comes with a complete AWS component library with the AWS specific threats and security requirements pre mapped to them. Anyone with knowledge of the application architecture can create a Threat Model with concrete, consistent, and actionable outputs using Threat Modeler. For this video, we'll begin with a blank diagram in Canvas. We'll begin our Threat Model by dragging a user icon out of the diagramming toolbox. We'll anticipate that users will post a message containing an image to a chat app channel being monitored by our chat box. The chat app will be configured to post an event to an AWS Gateway API for the chat box. The Gateway will then trigger an AWS Lambda function that will download the posted image. The Lambda function will send this image to Amazon Recognition to check it for inappropriate content. Recognition is an AWS service that allows users to quickly add scalable image and video analysis to applications. Should Recognition determine that the application is inappropriate, the Lambda function will delete the post from the chat channel, and the chatbot will then post a message to the channel detailing the deletion of the image. We should note that the Gateway, the Lambda function, and Recognition are running on an AWS VPC instance. We can do this by selecting the desired components and clicking Group in the diagramming toolbar. The default group type is a collection. We can change this by right-clicking the group and selecting Container from the pop-up menu. Containers are a special group type in Threat Model in that they are defined by an architectural component type. From the pop-up dialog box, start typing AWS VPC and select it when it appears. We can also note in the Threat Model that the chatbot is deployed within an AWS region. To do this, select the VCP group and, from the diagramming toolbar, click Group. Right-click the new container and, this time, choose Trust Boundary. In the pop-up dialog box, choose the appropriate Trust Boundary type and give the group a new name. We now have the basic architectural components on the diagramming canvas. The next step is to add the communication protocols between the components. We can do this simply by clicking on an icon or group name and dragging an arrow to another icon or group name. The default communication protocol is HTTPS. Because we're creating an app for deployment on the cloud, we'll use this protocol throughout the threat model. The final step to creating our image moderation chatbot threat model is to add the additional properties to specific components as needed. For example, we should add a few widgets to the API gateway. Widgets are the means by which an application achieves and maintains state. 
Since our API gateway is automatically communicating with the chat app, we should add a chat widget, one for external widgets, and for third-party software. For thoroughness with our threat model, let's also add an SMS functionality and a URL widget. Our Lambda function downloads images, so we need to add a widget for that. It also needs to have the ability to delete inappropriate posts, and to do so, it will likely need custom authentication. Finally, we should provide some additional properties to our VPC container. Based on the AWS serverless reference architecture, we should include a Dynamo definition and an S3. We'll also include CloudFormation and AWS IAM. And with that, our threat model is now complete. By navigating to the overview page, we can see that our threat model has identified 30 threats, 67 security requirements, and 29 test cases. By clicking on any threat, we can quickly see its source, status, and risk rating. By clicking on any threat, we can get the threat's detailed threat intelligence and reference. It took about 10 minutes for me, a non-security expert, to complete an architecturally based threat model for our image moderation chatbot deployed on the AWS serverless architecture. When a threat model is completed before coding begins, security teams have a much better understanding of how the application's relevant threats impact the organization's overall attack surface before deployment. Developers can use the identified security requirements to ensure that they are writing secure initial code. QA teams can use the test cases to verify that the security requirements are implemented and that the relevant threats have been mitigated. Integrate and automate end-to-end -end security into your cloud deployment DevOps workflow with Threat Modeler, your AWS technology partner for threat modeling. If you have questions about threat modeling for your AWS deployment needs, please visit us on the web at www.threatmodeler.com. And while you're there, be sure to schedule a live presentation. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Threat Modeler YouTube channel to keep up with all our latest videos. Thank you for watching.